The Chesapeake Bay has an amazing diversity of wetlands rivaling anywhere in the world. From our headwater forested wetlands down to our tidal marshes that fringe the bay itself. These areas that are part land and part water provide a critical part of meeting our restoration goals. Wetland and floodplain restoration are key practices to perform in the Chesapeake and elsewhere for both water quality and climate benefits. So we're bringing together key partners as well as public and private funding to be able to reach out to landowners, provide them multiple options for how they can restore wetlands on their property that meet their specific goals and be able to accelerate the rate and pace of wetland restoration across the Chesapeake Bay. We are here at the site of the Great Cypress Swamp. It's 10,600 acres of contiguous land and it's very unique on the Delmarva Peninsula because it's the largest freshwater wetland and the largest remaining block of contiguous forest, minus this Longfield project. And we are here doing a wetlands restoration and a reforestation project. Once we have the restoration complete, we will have re-sculpted the hydrology here, so it will be very, it will be highly varied. Eventually, it will be a multi-age, multi-class forest that is set in a wetland setting. The Pocomoke River restoration and that bigger picture, I mean, it's it's been very successful because of the partnerships that, that were developed between. Uh, the Fish and Wildlife Service, the Nature Conservancy, the NRCS, Maryland Department of Natural Resources, as well as the private landowners that, that have owned property along the Pocomoke. This project represents really the, the continuation and the growth of uh, what I consider to be an excellent partnership, right? So Ducks Unlimited doesn't, you know, very rarely if ever does any projects uh, alone. So by restoring wetlands like this, we create more opportunities on the landscape to support larger numbers of ducks. What TNC is really good at doing is we're really good at stepping in and helping our partnership to strengthen our partnership. We're able to do construction layout, we're able to do project management, we're able to help with the application process. So when we can do that, it not only helps our partnership, it helps landowners that we're working with, it makes this process seamless. Everybody has somebody that they can reach out to when TNC is involved. So in the Pocomoke watershed, to be able to achieve the scale of restoration that we accomplished, we leveraged funding from both public and private sources that was key to the success. These included money from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Natural Resource Conservation Service, the State of Maryland, Chesapeake and Coastal Bays Trust Fund, the Franz Merrick Foundation, the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, Toms of Maine, and other private donors. A recent grant that the Nature Conservancy received from the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation it's allowing us to take what we learned in the Pocomoke watershed and expand that to additional states, including this site in the headwaters of the Pocomoke in Delaware. We also be working in South Central Pennsylvania and the Rappahannock watershed in Virginia. A healthy Chesapeake Bay is in our grasp. The science is showing us that the bay is responding to all the conservation practices that have been put on the ground already. But to reach our goals, we need to be doing more. We need a thriving agricultural community that is working to keep nutrients growing crops and out of our waterways. And we need to continue to form these great partnerships to restore wetlands and floodplains at a meaningful scale in critical locations for all the benefits they provide to both people and nature.